So, guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is the second week of uh, after the uh, midterm with the S. So, last time you construct the uh, flow pattern. So, which one is which? So, I hope you submit uh, your uh, homework on this one. So please use this one. Do not dis uh, dis not uh, discard it. Do not uh, destroy it. So we will use it later on. Again and then uh, first we have to decide which which part which uh, 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 flow pattern that we have. So of course you calculate everything else first. Uh, data preparation and then uh, lambda l no slip liquid holdout. And then you calculate the NFR flop number, which is um, mix for velocity mix square divided by G and D. Uh, G is the rate of point two feet per second squared. It depends on the on the what you call it uh, elevation of your area. But uh, let's see this. Uh, we use this one as our uh, standard. Of Three to point two. It, it 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 can be different, but uh, in this case, we use three to point two, and D is in feet. And then by the time we fit, we have this number here, we plug this number and NFR and lambda L and FR lambda L to the chart that you have there, and then from the chart you will have uh, be able to see which uh, flow are you in, what is the flow regime there. And then uh, from the flow regime, you can use uh, this whole thing here. If you want to use a computer, we use this one here. Uh, if you don't use computer, you can see it. So by your eyes, you can see that uh, uh, that uh, where where are you in the flow flow pattern then? And then. <coughs> uh, the second part is uh, calculating uh, liquid holdout. So first thing uh, we should do is uh, calculating uh, liquid holdout at the at the zero elevation. Okay. So this is the liquid holdout zero elevation. Uh, but how to calculate that one using this equation A and B and C are in this uh, order for segregated intermittent distributed for the transition we talk about later on the transition so remember that we have a transition for the transition we talk about it later uh, you have to remember that uh, HL has to be uh, smaller than lambda L remember that HL has to be lower than lambda L HL has to be lower than lambda L. It has to be higher than lambda L. HL has to be higher than lambda L. If it's uh, lower, so HL equal to lambda L. So HL has to be higher than lambda. I remember that on the first uh, introduction to the uh, to phase flow, HL has to be higher than lambda L because lambda L is in the and and HL is in the beginning, so uh, everything the system so HL has to be higher than lambda L. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, HL and lambda L has to be between zero and one. In this calculation, it it will happen if uh, HL is higher than one, so HL to be set at one. Remember that HL cannot be larger than one. Remember that, okay? Please. Uh, Please understand about this thing because HL is impossible more than one. If it's more than one, mean bochor leakage, so it's impossible. Okay. <coughs> so HL has to be one. It's between zero and one. If it's HL zero mean all of them are gas. It's SL one. All of them are uh, fluid. And then. We calculate the NLV, NLV in this uh, uh, expression here, equation here. So you, uh, after that, 
we use this NLV to calculate uh, C, the correction, uh, C. Uh, this is in order to, uh, the uh, so this mean is S, at HL at 0, 0 degree. Okay, and then after that is the how we correct it to the uh, degree that we have uh, uh, in, the, uh, in our problem, in our case. So, C is uh, in this expression with the F, G and H in this expression, in the E, F, G, H, E, F, G, H, this is E, E is not exponent, E, the, the E, the real E, okay? <coughs> okay, so this one is the uh, parameter, so if it's distributed uphill, no correction, so C equal, if C equal to 0, C equal to 1. So this is the C. So if C less than 0, C equal to 0. If C equal to 0, this one become, C become 1. So if, if this is the expression of C and then plug the C over here, so you have a C. Okay. So there are certain cases that uh, C equals to 1. One case is distributed downhill. If it's distributed down, uh, distributed uphill, distributed uphill, okay, so become one. Remember that if C is going up, uh, so if you have a flow there, so this one is the your pipe, and this one is horizontal, so the delta is this uh, delta. So if it's go down, this is a minus delta. Okay, remember that this is minus delta and this is a delta. So this one is downhill, this one is uphill. Okay, so if it is downhill and uphill, uh, and then we have a C, and then we end up with a thing. HL on the uh, direct uh, with the with the with the degree on it, so it downhill or uphill. So HL degree is uh, with a certain degree HL zero multiplied by per C. So uh, again, in this case, if HL per C uh, is L uh, delta theta, if it's L theta is more than one, so HL has to be one. So there is no way that HL lambda L is more than 1 or less than 0 okay okay this is we have a uh, what we get the liquid hold up but remember how to do the transition okay uh, okay uh, if it's transition means that you are in this area okay so how to do the transition if you do the transition you calculate HL with the parameter of segregated and you again calculated HL with the parameter of uh, intermittent and then you interpolate the HL to this point so how you interpolate? So remember that you calculated HL by using parameter of segregated and again calculated by using intermittent. Okay, twice you calculate twice and then you uh, estimate uh, the transition by using this uh, uh, equation using a a is l3 okay l3 uh, so you have a uh, one l3 you have one nfr okay and then you have a uh, uh, another l3 another l2 what is l3 l2 uh, is is from this equation okay l2 l3 and NFL. So it's kind of interpolation. 
So L3 minus L3 minus an FR here and then L2 L3 minus L2. Okay? So what you have is something like uh, an average of a uh, uh, HL. Okay? So L3 L3 is in, because this is our for example this is our point L3 is this one and L2 is this one okay go up and down because we have the same uh, lambda L but we have different NF add here so this L3 this is L2 okay and then you calculate the transition of HL by using this expression here so segregation is using A uh, intermittent is using 1 minus A because you have HL of segregation you have XL intermittent with using this parameter of a segregated and intermittent uh, and then you finally have HL of uh, transition and then after that the final one we use a plane at all at all modification if it's larger than 0 is 0.924 HL multiply again by this expression if it's less than 0 is multiplied by this expression okay. 